Hey folks, Will Burdett here. Um, I was recently on the Burrito Trail in California, and I call it the Burrito Trail because I have this uh, sort of crank theory that the Mission Trail uh, that runs along the coast of California was actually set up to deliver flour tortillas up the coast. So Romantiezer was the first place I visited. It was just this little stand in Santa Barbara, and they have this interesting... Uh, sort of cross between a wet burrito and a California style burrito and this one had carne asada and was covered in mole so that was pretty interesting then I visited the original Freebirds and this place has kind of an interesting story it was you know it's named for one of the founders father's favorite song um, he died and uh, he also liked motorcycles and so that's where you get all the motorcycle decor here's a video of the the burrito I had it's pretty standard uh, Freebirds, California-style burrito. And uh, some really great hot sauce, um, kind of more of a hot sauce than a salsa. Pretty spicy. I was told that they also have a queso burrito there, but I didn't get one of those. This particular Freebirds, uh, the original one, was in California. But there's also a Texas connection, because the guy who started the Freebirds in California was um, friends with a guy who then later started one in College Station, and that was their second location. Uh, that's the one that, that became a chain and, and branched off into tons of, of different free birds across Texas and then across the country. Uh, but originally, it was just the one in California. So that's the lovely Anastasia on the left and my pal Emily on the right. And they, along with my pal Andy, accompanied me on my uh, mission burrito quest in San Francisco. Uh, Emily was sort of our guide because she grew up in the Bay Area and uh, she had a good idea of where all these places were. So I told her a few places I wanted to go. She mapped them out and then we did a walking tour and we covered quite a bit of the mission uh, and got a good, uh, you know, overview of, of what that area is all about. But really our main goal was burritos. So the first place that we visited was La Cumbre, and this place has been around for a while. Uh, it's got a really kind of nice feel to it. It feels like it's part of the neighborhood. It doesn't feel, you know, tacked on or whatever. So, um, you know, it really just feels like it's sort of organically developed uh, over the course of, of time in this neighborhood. And, you know, that's kind of a nice thing. It also claims to be the birthplace of the mission style burrito and so you know we had to check that out and of course you know the walls have a lot of uh, Mexican iconography on them um, but really we were there for the food and uh, we got a chicken burrito uh, it was pretty solid we got a we got the super burrito uh, with all the you know fillings and stuff it was maybe a little bit uh too much to start the day off with, but we we went ahead. Next place we checked out was El Faro. Uh, this place also kind of has a claim to starting the the mission style burrito trend. They've been around for a long time. Uh, they're a, a chain now, so they have lots of different locations. This one we really just got on the go. We sort of walked in, ordered a pork burrito, and then ate it as we walked down the street to the next burrito place, uh, we just sort of passed it around. La Espiga de Oro was the next place that we visited. And this place came really highly recommended by BurritoEater.com. The guy behind Burrito Eater has eaten a thousand burritos over the course of the last decade. And he's um, logged each one and ranked it, even if he had the same burrito, you know, three times over the last decade. Uh, you know, he ranked each visit so that he could even measure the consistency. And this was his favorite place. And it was solid. It was a great burrito. The next place we visited was La Taqueria. This place was Emily's favorite uh, burrito place. And the reason why she liked it is because it has kind of a no rice policy. And, you know, she kind of has the view that rice in a burrito is just filler and it should get out of the way and make room for more meat. And this place does a really great job with meat. We had a, a chicken burrito that was just really fantastic. It was 
the chicken was super moist and super tender and super juicy. Um, and yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, we also had a, a, a beef burrito that was, that was really solid. And, um, yeah, that was the trip. It was fantastic.